What's up fellow drivers, you already know from the title, this is an exciting time. Tomorrow I am taking the GTR for its first track day. And so today I'm doing a little bit of prep. So you can see the hood is propped open here and uh, I have it on the battery tender. I always try and leave it on that if I'm not gonna drive it for like a week or more. And the whole front end is all clear broad. Um, so some of you probably uh, saw that video when I first got it. Um, so that includes the hood and the bumper, even over the headlights as well as the fenders, everything. So I'm not gonna worry about taping up the entire uh, front like I did with the MR2, if you remember, but I am going to be using this tape along the side here because when I went to the last track day with the MR2, I got a lot of black marks going across like this area, lower rocker panel and like the bottom of the door and stuff like that, that I had to scrub off really hard. So uh, to avoid that, I'm going to try and tape up the bottom. Uh, earlier, I measured the pad thickness on all four rotors going all the way around on the inner and outer. Um, I didn't have the camera set up at that time, but I took the measurements. That's what they turned out to be. We were between seven and eight millimeters on the front and eight and nine millimeters on the rear. So we should be able to get through the track day without any problem. Don't have to replace the brake pads yet. Uh, tires also have pretty good tread depth. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that, uh, but they're still pretty good to go. We'll see what they're like after tomorrow, uh, but that's another story. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start taping it up and we'll get going. All right. So you can see this side is all done. All right, we got the other side done. All taped up. And now we're gonna go check the oil. And this is mostly just kind of, I don't know, for the sake of checking it just in case. But honestly, uh, we just did the oil change like, I don't know, 200 miles ago. So it better not be a problem. Uh, but let's see what it is. All right, probably can't see that on camera. <laughs> it's a little blurry, uh, but the oil level is perfect. So for supplies, we've got some distilled water, gloves, uh, towels, torque wrench, some more tape, a air compressor, and the helmet. And I'm gonna bring a quart of oil too, uh, but I actually have to pick that up tonight, so I don't have that yet to show you guys. So let's get this in the trunk. So the one last thing I'll need to do is check the tire pressure, but I'm gonna do that after we get to the track. So I'll see you guys in the morning, way too early. <sighs> guys uh, checking in still have about an hour and a half to go until we get to the track we saw the two trailer mr2s up there we're caravanning so i've got matt and bob with me again by the way i'm recording on my phone right now so hopefully the audio is okay um but yeah they got their trailers your boy here slumming it driving his own car but i'm in the gtr so i can't complain um well, let's talk about the situation so um we're going to Chukwola again, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to compare the cars directly because last time we went counterclockwise, and this time it's going to be clockwise, so um, it's essentially a totally different track. A little disappointing because I won't be able to do that direct comparison, uh, but also it'll be cool because it'll be something new. And I'm going to change lanes. We've got the seat heaters on, cruising and save and comfort mode. Currently getting about 30 miles per gallon. So we got perfect 31 psi on all four tires. So I'm actually not going to have to adjust that when we get to the track unless it changes. 
So in case you needed any reminding, my GTR is 100% stock and even the original tires. So that means that it has run flats, uh, which have been universally pretty much proclaim, proclaimed to be terrible, um, which I think is kind of overly dramatic. Like they are still definitely a summer tire. Uh, I think they're Treadwear 200. So, um, you know, they're definitely not like having a set of R888s on it or something like that. And I think to match the rest of the GTR's performance, uh, the tires are not great. You know, run flats are definitely not a track tire. Uh, so I guess I have a habit of going with subpar tires, uh, but they're, you know, miles ahead of uh, like the tires that I was on uh, in the MR2. Uh, so that being said, uh, you know, GTR is GTR, it should still be amazing. Um, it's the equipment that Nissan decided to put on it, and I'm sure its level of performance is still like a million times ahead of mine. So, uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm actually there. Oh god, scrape. off is a better idea. Oh, look at that. I'm already unloaded. So this first session out was just to learn the track. In fact, for the first two laps, we weren't even allowed to pass anybody. But I took the entire session as an opportunity just to learn the track. You know, where the turns were and what the proper line was. I even kept it in automatic. But there were some cars that were slow enough that I ended up passing them eventually, like this BMW. But I wasn't pushing the car at all, and I was just trying to figure out where I was supposed to be. Alright, just got back in. Here are my temps. Uh, everything stayed really cool. The hottest we ever got was trans was like uh, 212, and uh, we're up to 200 even there, I think. Um, yeah, dude, crazy experience in the GTR. Very different from the MR2, which I mean, that's to be expected. Um, I'm glad I started with the MR2 though. I think if I had started with the GTR, um, you know, it just, it's such a different driving experience. Like I learned a lot more from the GTR, I mean from the MR2, but I think having driven the MR2 and now in the GTR, even from this first session, I learned a lot and just how it feels different. Uh, and the passing ability of this car is really ridiculous. Um, but because we're going the opposite direction from last time, I still am really figuring out. Um, I hit the line a couple of times, I think, uh, but there's a lot of corners that I like, still need to work on. Uh, but yeah, ton of fun. Uh, catch up with you guys after the next round. Oh, and also here's my tire pressure after the first round. Looks like we're gonna have to make some adjustments. All right, we are good. Uh, I don't actually know what the ideal pressure, sorry, that was loud. I don't actually know what the ideal pressure would be hot like this, uh, but at least I wanted to get them all evened out. So after one warm-up lap, which I would do at the beginning of every session, I tried to start learning the GTR. I of course still had to work on the line, but I started pushing the car more, I put it in manual, and tried to see how it behaved and how it was really different from the MR2. The second session was also really exciting because I ran into a lot of other cars that I had to try and keep up with, like the Civic. Now some of you might be thinking that that sounds ridiculous. Like, I'm in a GTR and I have to try and keep up with the Civic. But this guy was actually a pretty good driver and it was a good opportunity for me to stay behind him and watch him and try and learn something. And to be honest, at first, I really couldn't pass him. But eventually, when I kind of learned what he was doing, then he did give me the point five. A couple laps later, I caught up to an FD and this guy was no joke. I didn't know what he had under the hood exactly, but it did not seem like a stock 13B. What really surprised me is that I seemed to have the advantage, if anything, in the corners, not the straightaways. I'll let you watch the rest of this lap of me desperately trying to catch up to him, and I'll catch up with you at the end of the session.
Okay, that was session two. Uh, getting a little more familiar with the course. Still definitely have a long way to go. Uh, tire pressure looks like this now after the first run. And uh, these are my temps for like engine and oil. There's Bob and Matt up there. I hope this is turning out well, because uh, like I said, I'm doing all of this on my phone. Um, just because it's like easier to do coming on and off the track. Oh man, I have like serious sweaty helmet hair. Um, anyway, um, you saw that Civic. Um, I let it go, of course, because he seemed like a pretty good driver. Um, and I followed him for a couple laps. I think, you know, I think it was like two laps. Um, and then, you know, once I kind of like learned his line, then, you know, I was able to catch me and let me pass. Uh, but then at the end there, that FD was really fast. Um, I think I definitely, you know, have a lot to learn. Uh, and maybe, you know, hopefully by the end of the day, I can pass that FD, but, you know, maybe not. We'll see. All right. Whew. Uh, gonna let the car cool down, of course. Um, as always, turn the GoPro off, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Oh, one other thing to note. Uh, last time on the first session, because it was just kind of exploring, I had uh, everything in normal mode. Uh, but this time I actually put things in uh, race mode for the uh, transmission as well as the suspension. And I mean, the transmission, you know, definitely makes quick uh, shifts a lot quicker. Um, you know, I think for the level that I'm driving at, honestly, it probably didn't make any difference. It's not like I'm saving, you know, like hundreds of a second because of that or anything. Um, but I definitely saw a noticeable difference in the suspension. Um, I could turn in a lot sharper. Uh, whereas before, um, I did feel like it was kind of hard to hold the turn sometimes because uh, it was just a little too sloshy feeling. But anyway, um, I don't know where Matt is taking Bob's car. Hey, Bob, where uh, where is he going? Oh, just test drive. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Cool. How is it? Bob GTR? in the house. GTR is uh, is crazy. It's uh, a, I it's, saw you freaking cruising down, man. I think it's fast. Yeah. Super fast. Yeah. But I was telling uh, Nick that that like, FD is really fast, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much power he's making, but I think he's like, definitely a really good driver, too. Oh, dude, yeah. Because, um, yeah, there was no way I was passing him. Even with me like trying to learn the car and the track, I was still like pretty much catching everybody else just cause like the car is stupid. <laughs> um, but <laughs> It's a cheat car, man, it's yeah, not fair. Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, but not that FD, like he, he was really, really fast. So just talked to the owner of that uh, RX-7 over there uh, that I was talking about. And uh, sure enough, he's got an LS swap. He said he's making like 430 wheel horsepower. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely pretty fast. Um, he was saying that I was like catching him in the corners, which is generous. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure things out. And, uh, you know, I think he is too. You know, obviously his car is definitely a lot more of a handful, um, but he's a little bit more experienced uh, driving on, on tracks. This is like his, uh, I think he's a sixth or seventh track day. Uh, yeah, cool guy, really cool car. Definitely really fast for some lightweight car. Making 430 wheel horsepower is, uh, pretty crazy so um i'll be looking out for him on the track and uh yeah we're still waiting here for session number three and then i think we have lunch after that so catch you on the track in the third session i started with nothing but open track ahead of me i really started to feel comfortable pushing the car taking those first two sessions to learn the track and then learn the car and the line definitely seemed to pay off the GTR is truly amazing. The surge of power down the straights and its incredible stability through the corners is mind-blowing. But that isn't to say that it's completely easy to drive. If I had kept driving it the same way that I drove the MR2, I wouldn't have even begun to scratch the potential of the car as much as I did. And this part of the track that's coming up with this long right-hand sweeper followed by a left-hand turn was a part of the track that I found consistently difficult. I was never quite sure where exactly I should be on the track, and I think I could have trusted the car more and carried a lot more speed through it. Later in the session I started catching up to traffic and passing a lot of cars, like this BMW, 
and there was a Miata that I was surprisingly faster than through the turns. I overtook Bob's MR2, and more and more as the session went on. Okay, I felt really good about that one. Um, like, I'm getting noticeably faster. Um, I'm definitely hitting the line a lot more often. Um, you know, it's still not perfect, need more work, but I'm definitely hitting the line a lot more. Uh, I'm learning what I can and can't do with the GTR now. Um, and uh, I've just noticed from the way that I've been able to like catch up to people and pass them and uh, just the general feeling I'm getting a lot smoother and I, those laps felt really fast. So hopefully I can continue to improve even more. Uh, but I had to get off a little early because uh, we are running out of fuel <laughs> and I didn't want to be like coming around the bowl on the big sweeper there and uh, getting it sputtering and whatever. So I came off early and uh, we're gonna fuel up, but I just want to let it cool down for a second. So um, let's see, these are my temps. I've already been off for a minute or so. So this was actually up to like 130, uh, but we're still definitely well within the appropriate range. Uh, let's see what our tire pressure is at. Okay, all right, so it's continuing to climb a little more. Um, that might be because it's just continuing to get hotter. It might also be because I was actually being able to drive harder. Um, so if you, my fellow track rats, GTR owners, uh, let me know what's the ideal tire pressure. And I know it'll vary from track to track and conditions and whatnot, but in general, like what should I be aiming for on my tire pressure uh, when they're hot like this after coming off the track? Um, Cause I really don't know um, if this, this seems like it's probably a little high, um, but let me know, comment below if you know what I should be having. Um, anyway, uh, I think we've let it cool for a few minutes here, so we can probably start filling some gas. And I'll see you guys in a second. So it looks like they're out of 96. It says they're out of 90 or 101. I was trying to do 96 and it just wouldn't go more than like a tenth of a gallon. And now 91 is pumping, so at least we're gonna get filled up here. You're on camera now. What are we doing? I don't know, what are we doing? What are we out here doing? We're at the track. You're at the track. Yeah. So how, how's your experience been so far, Bob? It's it's really good, man. It's uh, just getting used to the car is, uh, is really tough. It's, uh, it, it's a beast. It's too much car for me, pretty much. How does it compare to the feel of the AW11 that you had out last time? Um, the AW11 is a little bit more trickier and shorter narrow base. This one's a little bit easier to drive, um, but just way too much power, um, to, to be honest. But but now it's getting, um, it's, it's all about getting the rhythm of the, of the track. So I kind of like ease off the, the speed a little bit and just kind of get used to the track. And then um, from there, I just kind of like just go a little bit faster and faster. Any particular part that you felt was like really tricky or that you feel like maybe you've gotten really good at? Yeah, that little, that little corner over there I spun out. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? Uh, was that one? The uh, five and six? The crate, the, the, the short one? The one that goes like this, this, and then the big, before the... That's six and seven. Six and seven. Where you're going hot, and then you turn, and you go back in, and you turn again. Oh, so this is before the straight where you come yeah. up to eight and nine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. one is a little, it's a little tight, really tight. So you got to slam on the brakes, maintain your speed, go, 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 go. Like the dance that we was talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, from there, you just kind of ride it out. So that was a little tricky. It's just, but then, uh, yeah, it's getting used to it now. Um, the midday already, so. Cool, cool. Yeah, we're out here at lunch. Yeah. How about you, Matt? How's it going for you? It's going great, man. I enjoy it. I just, uh, I'm just here to get better. I'm not here to race anybody, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, and that's my, what it's about. My car is a little different, obviously. It doesn't have the power that you guys have, but it's a balanced car, I'll tell you that. I mean, for the yep. most part. It's a good match, you know. Would I like a little bit more horsepower? Sure, but it's a good car to learn in, you know. Mm -hmm. It's it's not gonna, you're not gonna kill yourself or the power is where you're gonna get yourself in trouble, you know. But there's a lot of areas that I feel like, yeah, I'm getting a grip on. There's just a couple, um, that big long sweeper that's out there, mm. six and seven, it's a tough, tough one. I've, I've come out and I'm just too wide sometimes. Yeah, it's the one where it has kind of a late apex, right? Yeah, got it's a double apex then, turn. Yeah. But yeah, and then coming into the, off that straight up into the, the back section there, I, that's like my favorite part of the track now. It's so fun. I feel like I, I can do whatever I really want there. 
So you actually have quite a bit of experience going counterclockwise. Yeah. Having done this now, do you think you prefer counterclockwise or are you like in this direction? No, you know what? At first I didn't like it. Um, and I was obviously, I was really nervous about doing it because I've done this track five times the other way. And now this is the only time I've gone clockwise. And uh, right now I could go either way. I mean, it's fun both ways. You sure. know? But at first I was like, no, I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> but but 16 is the only tough turn before the big straight it's just yeah. it's, it's, it's oh yeah you gotta like stay out wide for a long time yeah, so you can cone. come in at the cone aim at that big white cone yep and then you turn in really hard there and you get on it i think every person that i followed into that has like always missed the yeah. the turn in point on that it definitely seems one. tricky um, how's it going for you? So like you're not even driving your car. So no. like, how's it going? No, I'm switching with Bob on his White Walker, and um, it's what about 350 wheel horsepower. Um, I think it's perfect. Uh, the brakes on it are, are real good, and um, the tires are real sticky. It just feels like a go kart. Um, it's my first time out here, and uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. Know, I feel really confident in it, and I uh, enjoy confidence it. inspiring car. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Oh, and I didn't introduce you. So uh, who 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 is this guy? I'm Nick. <laughs> I've got a 91 MR2 turbo with cool, a cool. Gen 5. But he, uh, he lives in too much a scaredy cat to bring it out to the track. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> he will. He's going to bring his STI. But how about you, David? Are you stoked that you brought your GTR today? Oh, yeah. I am. Godzilla in the house? Yeah. The car is super crazy. Um, and I felt like uh, the very first session was definitely still like just learning the track, you know? like not really pushing the car at all um and then second time i felt like i was really trying to like learn the car um because it just feels so much more different than the mr2 and this third time i felt like i was actually really able to like get a lot faster i mean of course i'm sure there's still a lot of things that i can do much better but um i noticed like a a really big improvement for me between that session and the third session that's oh. good you feel do you feel like i pressured you to come out here <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you gave me the motivation, so that's good. And when I bought the GTR, I always said that I wanted to track it like at least once. Like I've got to bring it to the track. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really, really glad to have it out here. So, Every person uh, that I've ever talked to, and it's been a few, they, they love it. I don't, and it's like, Nick, you got to bring your STI out here for sure. And yeah, next time I'll have to. Honestly, you, you will not regret it for this 2000. Oh, you're not down, dude. That's your baby. You have an S2000 too? Yeah, like low mileage. What year? All right, so we're finishing up lunch, and I still have super crazy helmet hair. Uh, but we're gonna have another session pretty soon. So um, yeah, we're all having a good out time out here. Catch up with you guys later. So in this fourth session, I think I set my fastest lap of the day. Unfortunately, in the afternoon, I didn't really have very many laps where I was totally unimpeded. And in this particular one, I actually had a passenger for a few laps because Bob wanted to ride with me. Either way though, it was a really good session and I could tell I was getting better and better as the day went on. And despite not having a totally open track, I still managed to set a good time relative to what I was doing before. Whew. All right, that was our fourth session, I think. First one after lunch, freaking awesome. Um, again, I feel like I really know the line now. Um, I'm driving well. Uh, there was one spot where I really overcooked it though in the chicanes coming after the, the back straight. Um, but fortunately I didn't go off track or anything. I recovered. Um, there's a numbers, not too high, that's good. Um, let's see, tire pressure. Still climbing up there. I guess it's just because it's getting hotter in the afternoon. I, I do feel like that's too high, but um, yeah, here let me turn this back on. Um, dude, it, it, it's so awesome. Like, for all of you fellow GTR owners who are afraid to take your car to the track, just do it, trust me, at least once. And for the rest of you guys, like, just whatever car you have, go to the track. It doesn't even need to be like a track car or modified or whatever. You know, I had a blast in the MR2 and I'm sure you can have a blast in like your Corolla or whatever. It's still gonna be a ton of fun. <sighs> Bob over here filling up gas. Yeah. Not getting price gouged like I was. Nope. <laughs> so how was the experience riding along in the GTR? Oh man, I love it. <laughs>
crazy, dude. It's a different, it's a different animal for sure. Yeah, de definitely very, very different. Dude, it's freaking a lot of G, a lot of G force. Yeah, like it really, you feel that like on the acceleration, yeah. the braking, the turning, like it, it does generate those G's. Man, for you're sure. doing like 100, like 90, 100. <laughs> I'm also the freaking thing. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Last session of the day. Let's try and put all that knowledge, all this practice to good use, make it a good lap. I think I actually felt better about session three than I did four. So I'll try and get back up there on this fifth session. Do a warm up lap here. First lap of the session, of course, as usual. In this session, I had a camera mounted inside, so the sound is a little whack, I apologize for that, but I got to do some live commentary, so I hope you enjoy. Let this guy pass. Then we'll see if we can catch him again, because we're about to start our first hot lap. we both got stuck behind the Golf R and the Civic from earlier eventually, so it took us a while before both of them would give us a point by. By that time, we were getting pretty deep into the session, 
and he got to pass before I did, so then they had a really good lead on me. So I'm going to fast forward ahead here to the end of the session. But first, something else actually happened. We actually made an entire lap before we came back around and found out what had happened. There was the yellow flag the whole way. Were we supposed to come off? No, or? it wasn't a checkered. It was, we were just black flagging him because he popped some up here. We're trying oh, to get okay. I just saw a yellow flag on. all the way. Yeah, it was just a yellow flag. That's just caution because he was limping it in. Cool. Okay. So we want to go I, back out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you back up and we'll get you out here. Okay. Cool. out for the last few hot laps and a battle with the FD. If you're interested in seeing that, I can post a video later, so let me know in the comments, but this video is already getting really long. Ooh. Oh, Bob's car is okay. Well, my temps on my uh, transmission climbed up higher than it's been. Still okay. Uh, it's in the it's a 237, um, so definitely well within the operating range, but that is the highest that it's been so far. Flip over to automatic. Freaking crazy. Hey, everything okay? Oh no. Ooh. Rod knock. That's really not good. Oh, that's sad. I don't know, maybe it's pushing too much too much boost on the stock internals. Um anyway, that is an, an unfortunate note to end on. Uh ooh, I am so hot in this helmet right now. Um anyway, that was my last session of the day. Amazing time. Um, my hair is so gross, um, but yeah, amazing time. If you haven't been to the track before, I definitely recommend it. Um, the GTR is incredible, very different experience than the MR2. Um, honestly, in future track days, I'll probably take the MR2 more often just because I don't want to be too hard on the GTR uh, that often, but um, I'm so glad that I did this. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, <sighs> The car is so capable and um, I learned a lot and I feel like I learned a different driving style. Um, so I feel like I really kind of gained another skill set or a lot of knowledge um, with driving both the MR2 and the GTR. Um, it's unfortunate that this last session got a little uh, interrupted by certain things, um, but still kind of had a battle with the GT4 for a while and then a battle with the uh, LS swapped RX-7. So um, yeah. Um, a ton of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I think, you know, I still have more room for improvement. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. You probably don't want to listen to all of this, but uh, if you haven't been to the track, get to the track and uh, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs>